Hello and welcome back to Crypto Schnack. My name is Marian and it's so nice to have you all here. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. And uh, thank you so much for Jeff Roberts giving me the content in the background that you see. As uh, well, at the end of the video, you will see the Giga Berlin. So thank you as well to Tobias Lind for the footage he provided me. So guys, um, we will dive into some news from the Giga Austin and we will later on check out some things happening in the Giga Berlin. And um, before that, thank you so much for your support. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would really appreciate that. So looking at the Giga Austin, we do see that um, we are flying right now over an area where they have been um, getting some um, dirt outside and they were building a bigger hole interesting to see what's gonna happen there soon I'm not really um, knowing yet what it will be and um, if we are looking to the um, to the building um, built here at the end of the site we do see that um, they are continuing and uh, it is always the area as well in, as in Giga Berlin um, for the um, casting or stamping machine, um, which um, is the one that is taking the most time. So um, as well, the paint shop, um, I'm not I'm not sure um, what will be there exactly. Uh, maybe someone can help me out in the comment section. But, as, um, but this side is always the one that takes the most time. Um, so for this, um, we have to wait till it comes up. And I do think that we will see more uh, buildings uh, popping up and built before this area here will be ready to go. Um, so what um, actually happened um, in the front, we have seen a crane. So they are getting ready to build up the piles and buildings um, very soon, as mentioned in the past two videos. Um, one thing um, I find interesting is there is actually a, f um, a filing that they will be as well producing batteries in the Giga Austin, which makes a lot of sense if you think about the um, enormous production they will have. Um, so if they have the Tesla Semi Cybertruck and Model Y, um, which I currently think will happen here, um, then it will be an enormous amount of um, cars um, that they will have to produce. And especially with the Cybertruck and Tesla Semi, I think the batteries will be much bigger than the normal um, normal Tesla Model Y and Tesla Model 3. And in this case, um, there will be need for more batteries. And it would make a lot of sense to produce um, the new um, own made battery in the Giga Austin. So, um, this raises the question what will happen with the um, Giga Nevada um, because if more and more factories are producing their own batteries um, the question is what will happen with the Giga Nevada. I do think that um, it will concentrate mostly on the Tesla energy business and will um, help the Giga, um, Giga, I'm saying already the factory in Fremont um, to get batteries for their production. Um, so we do see that they are expanding, uh, making holes. Um, so um, I think um, right now it's all the preparation um, before starting um, the actual construction of the building. But um, I really like what I see. And um, I think we will be surprised that by the end of the year, we might see already a lot of buildings um, being ready. So we have the 8th of November, um, meaning we have around seven more weeks in this year. And I think um, seven weeks are a lot of time to build. And so, um, yeah, I do think they won't have so many issues with authorities like in Germany. This can really help them to already start producing cars really early in the Giga um, Austin. Then a nice other news um, I'd like to talk about is the FSD. Um, there are more and more footages from people trying out the beta version or um, using it in their cars because they are able to do so. And um, there was a nice video um, reported from Tesla Rati um, that, um, that 
the owner of a car was driving in a really tight area on a freeway between uh, a wall and a truck and what the FSD actually did is it uh, took um, the mirrors on the left and right side it moved it to the inside so it clapped it in and which is really amazing because um, so the FSD realized it is getting really tight and it was getting the um, mirrors in um, this is some signs where this entire FSD thing is going to go. Um, I believe um, the FSD um, computer or the chip will learn really fast. And this is the way where we get to robo taxis or self total self driving cars in the future. And um, don't forget, guys, the vision um, Tesla has is, um, which is not talked about a lot. He wants the cars to be produced in a factory. They, they know which car goes where, which they know for every car right now. And what they're going to do in the future, um, they're just going to tell the car where to drive. And then a car without any human inside will drive to the owner, to the parking lot. So um, this will change everything. So if a car is a self-driving car, full self-driving car, and is able to recharge by itself, this is why we have the um, um, these um, recharging systems um, that um, he was implementing um, a few years ago. These uh, robot um, robotic um, arm that is moving inside the car, and the car is getting recharged. If they are able to do that on a massive scale, that a taxi, for example, that is driving by itself can recharge because a robot um, charging station is getting into side, inside the hole and is recharging the car, then tes Tesla would be able in the future to produce a car and just um, clear the formalities, send it on the road and say the address and the car will drive there. And if it has to recharge, recharge along the way, it's just going to hold at a supercharger station, which, which is in the system, and that would really help it. So looking at the Giga Berlin, um, guys, when looking at the Giga Berlin, we do see that um, they have a nice construction pace, but um, there are some issues. We are looking at the um, issue that they are not allowed to um, um, cut off um, 93 acres of wood right now because the authorities haven't um, let them do that yet. Furthermore, um, I mentioned it yesterday, I was actually saying it wrong. It is actually the paint shop, um, not the stamping machine. The paint shop that can't be installed in the moment because they have not the legal, um, uh, um, legal um, papers for it yet. So they are not allowed to do it yet. Um, so this is taking some time. So um, it, there will be some issues um, for um, Tesla in Giga Berlin. Furthermore, they will hire 7,000 employees with a starting salary of 2,700 euros. Guys, if you like my video, if you like my content, please do subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And I hope to see you all back soon here on my channel, Crypto Schnack. So take care, guys.